Holy cow, Prince Man. It's already 1.30 and I feel like I haven't really done much. I told you I was going to do the white toner shirts, and I need to, and I'm going to. But holy cow. I did sell a couple more of my sticker things, so I got those prepped. I got some business cards, and then I have some flyers in the other room. So I'm going to go make some deliveries real quick, get these to the post office, and dropped off to a customer. And then we are going to come back and do white toner. We've got... 10 shirts that need a flag on the sleeve, and then 15 shirts that need a left chest logo, and then three hats. So not a ton. It's gonna take me a bit to figure out the artwork. The 15 shirts I'm the most worried about because the logo is red, white, and blue, and half the shirts are blue. So I gotta figure out what color I wanna switch it to or how I wanna do it. So let's get on with it. So I've got my gang sheet all set up. Sometimes I like to put this black border or really any color border so that when I do the weeding or the marrying process, when I get to the end, it has more to grab onto so it doesn't just rip off. Um, so I'm just trying to make sure I don't lose sheets. I do have all of the shirts laid out. Um, like I said earlier, I'm not sure if the color is gonna work because it's blue on blue. So I'm going to print a few. In this case, I'll have some extra. And if the color looks good, then I'll print even more because in total, there are six shirts that are not blue on blue and I'm printing eight of these. So if it works out, then I'll just print more. If it doesn't work out, then I gotta figure out a different color to go with. But super simple. Got my media loaded in the bypass tray. You do the like gritty side facing up and the glossy side facing down. So the glossy side is down here and the gritty side is up here. So this is it. Fishes, flows, prints through the printer. Then the print is on the gritty side. So here is the iColor Pro Rip V2 uh, for white toner shirts, which is what I'm doing. You load them into the overprint queue. You also have the underprint queue and the CMYK. So that's if you swap the white to the front and if you put black in instead of white. So I load my prints in here and all the other settings are set for you. You've got printed jobs here, which is fine. And then you've got kind of the thing. So if you wanted to lay out the file, so if I wanted to import one of these instead of laying it out in Illustrator or something, you can create copies and it will auto do that. I just find it easier to do in Illustrator. Um, you can also choose the paper that you're using. So you, I'm using the Uninet two-step standard. They've got the two-step premium. You can put the holes or the stripes, um, all that fun stuff. In here, you can pick the size, the weight, transparency, all that fun stuff. But all of that is set by default. I never touch it. I literally just load it in. I right click and push print. And then this is gonna wake up because it is sleepy. that thought. I just had to hit cancel and do it again. So printer is connected to the network. It's gonna feed in my one sheet that I have here. And it's gonna come out the top. Customer wanted a white border for the blue and blue shirts. Let's go do the marrying process. So these are some hats for my buddy. So just doing it for fun. Uh, I use Captain Tape, which I'll link down in the description. And then we're doing a, a right panel and just a tiny left panel for fun. So we'll show you what this is like to press. I press them on my cheap 
Chinese hat press. That thing was like 100, 150 bucks and it's been great. I want to get a nicer one because it hits the brim of the hat so you have to be careful when you're closing it and opening it. But other than that, I really like it. It's been worth it for the few jobs that I've had. It's paid for itself. So that's usually what I try to do is buy what will get me by until I can afford something nicer. That's like my Hotronics that I have out in the other room. I didn't buy that, that wasn't my first one. My first one was like a two, $300, 15 by 15. Then like seven years later is when I upgraded to that one. So let's get these pressed as soon as that's warmed up, which it's already done. And I just barely turned it on. That's the cool thing about the hat press. It heats up quick. All right, this is gonna be a little difficult for me and I'll try to make it so you can see. But the first thing I'm gonna do is get a piece of this capped on tape for at least. And hats are a little harder than shirts. Um, just because they're not flat. But I get my finger underneath it and I roll as Tide of a roll as I can. That way it will release really well. So, perfect. This is my piece left over. I just have to press it again. And then we do the same thing with this one. I usually try to start where I either have a bunch of space or where I know I can get a good like initial roll so like in this case I know I can start the peel before I even get to any of the design so you can see that here it's rolling and so now I try to get a really good like circle because if you can roll it off it tends to come off much better. And the letters that I was most worried about were this A and R, because you can see how little they are. This design is only two inches, so I think that's like 50 millimeters. I'm trying to work on my millimeters. I don't know where my, my pick went. So, like it is super, super small letters. You can see that they've got a little bit of a shine to them. Throw that back on the heat press. We'll make it matte and it'll be more permanent. So three more to go. Hats are done. We'll go over pricing at the end of the video. Now we've got, I think it's 15 shirts that we're gonna do. We've got two different designs. They're the same thing. One just has the white border and one does not. So no white border. This is going on the tan shirts. And with the white border, this, I guess you can't really see that very well. This is going on the blue and black shirts. I'm not going to show you a time lapse because I've got a really good video that I will link down in the description and the top right corner of the whole process. Weeding or not weeding. That's what's great about this stuff is you don't have to weed it. The marrying process and the application. I'll link that. Shirts are done. You know what time that means. It's pricing time. So, was the job worth it? <laughs> I'd probably say no. Reality wasn't, probably. Um, but the raw numbers don't make me 
super thrilled. So let's go over set numbers. Um, and I guess I need to add one more line in here to make it more accurate. The shirts were ordered from Sanmar. I had to order two different sets because they added more shirts after the fact. In total, there were 15 shirts. The Sandmar bill, including shipping, was $243.34. If they would have ordered them all at the same time, I probably would have made the free shipping cutoff, which is $200 with Sandmar. Because they did not order them at the same time, I had to pay shipping on both orders. I would have made the free shipping because the shirts themselves were 202. So in total, I paid $40.49 for shipping on the two orders. I did bill the customer half of that because I don't feel that I can give them a bill for $40 for shipping. So I did the eight tall shirts, which there were, there were eight tall, four not tall, and then three others. I billed them 25 a piece for those. I billed 23 for the non-tall. Should have just done them all 25. And then for the tan ones, those were 38 a piece. My cost, we have the $243.34 for Sanmar. We have roughly, well, not roughly, about $16 for the white toner, and that includes like the use of the printer, the media, the use of the heat press. Um, I do it about $8 a sheet is what I've kind of calculated my cost to be. Um, I do have leftovers and I also was able to do the three hats that I gave to my buddy um, so keep that in mind especially if you're doing small left chests which is what I primarily do I do left chest sleeve sometimes full backs or full fronts but I try to always gang things up and then I charged him $23.49 for shipping so in total the profit for this job, gotta modify a little more column, was $170.15. So, time wise, was it worth it? Yes, because I'm slow. And really, for 15 shirts, that's honestly pretty good. Probably took about two hours total with artwork and back and forth with the customer ordering from Sanmar. So $170 was the profit. I really don't feel like the prices that I charged the customer were horrible, especially because um, like the tan ones were really, they're like a stain resistant, rugged, long sleeve shirt. And the other ones are nice-ish polos. So 25, 23, and 38 a piece. So, not bad. But that about wraps it up for the day. If you have any questions about the white toner, the process, all that fun stuff, leave them down in the comments. If you have any questions about what I do, why I do it, how I do it, leave those down in the comments as well. Thanks Cam for editing the video, really appreciate you. If you guys wanna support the channel, you can do so with the links in the description. As always, just appreciate you being here, watching, subscribing, hitting that thumbs up, all that fun stuff. Thanks so much. It's Friday, which means there's not gonna be a vlog tomorrow because I'm ripping out the floor in my house. It's not gonna be fun. Bye, Profane.